This is a how-to on rust removal. Um, and the specific application I'm going to be showing is for the battery tray. Uh, this is a very common piece to get rusty, so this is going to be a quick, easy project that's going to uh, just freshen up a piece of your car. Again, this can be applied to any application, anything where you're trying to remove rust. And the process we're using is called electrolysis. It's very easy. You don't have to scrub away at this or anything. You're just going to leave it sit. And the rust is pretty much just going to melt off and leave you with just the bare metal. Uh, when you are done, you are going to see a lot of pitting. And that's just because that's where the rust once was. Um, so if you're doing this for a body panel, you will have to refinish it. But for this, I'm just going to get the rust off of it and spray with some black and get it back in the car. Um, so first off, just what you need. Old bucket, five gallons, and I recommend not using something you want to keep because it is going to get uh, stained from the iron removal. You're also going to need what's called an anode. You can use iron. I recommend stainless steel because the anode will uh, degrade over time, and by using stainless steel, it's going to last longer. Uh, you need just like vice grips or something to hold the anode to the bucket. And you need just anything that's going to suspend this in the solution that we're going to make. So basically suspend this in the baking soda water solution. It's going to hang it off the top of this bucket and use this wire to hook it up. And then uh, just baking soda works. Uh, you can also use washing soda, um, but I read somewhere you don't want to use something like that's really corrosive. Uh, so again, it's a really cheap way to remove rust and it's one of the most effective. Uh, and then water. And last but most important, you need a battery charger. You want uh, 12 volts, and some people do 2 amps, you can do 10 amps. Just make sure it has a setting for that on the battery charger that you get. And you just hook it in. So for a piece this size, you can see how long it takes. Smaller pieces, they say maybe a couple hours. Big piece, and it all depends on the amount of rust. You may just want to leave it overnight. So, uh, I guess we can go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do is make our solution. So five gallons of water to one cup of baking soda. Now our piece is suspended in the baking soda water solution. Now we're going to clamp our anode, um, and the tray is called a cathode now. So now that's clamped onto the side there. And now we're pretty much set. All we got to do now is hook the battery uh, up negative side to the tray, positive to your anode. Again, do this with the battery unplugged um, for obvious reasons. Right, so that's hooked up. Now we're just going to set our battery to 10 amps. 12 volts, and now we're going to plug it in. Alright, so now the process has started. 
Uh, and you're going to start to see bubbles come up after a little while. Um, and those are actually hydrogen bubbles, and they're actually starting already. So you don't want to complete, uh, leave this completely covered because hydrogen is flammable, so you don't want to contain those gases. At the same time, you want to get this away from, you know, where kids can get into it. Uh, while this caution sign doesn't show a battery hooked up to that bucket, I got a feeling the uh, warning still applies. So now we just wait, and in a little bit, we'll be able to show you some results. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, this has been sitting for, I guess, about a day, overnight, and then I flipped it, and it went maybe like six more hours. Um, so first thing, unplug the battery, um, and now we can take it out. And when you first take it out, um, it's going to have a lot of there's still a lot of black stuff. So basically, the first thing you want to do is take a wire brush to it and clean all that off in another bucket of water. Um, and before I do that, just real quick, I'll show you the anode. And next time I do this, I've already learned something myself. See how rusty and crusty this thing gets. Um, first of all, you're going to want to use something with more surface area. It's going to make the process go faster. And second of all, um, you're going to want to clean this off before you do another piece because the electricity isn't going to flow as well and you're not going to get as much uh, of the electrolysis process working. So maybe like a half inch pipe, hollow st uh, stainless steel pipe that you cut and then bend and lay down in there. You're putting more anodes around the bucket um, will get you a better connection and will help the process happen faster. So now I'm just going to scrub this thing up. So that's why I don't think everything came out, but you can really start to see this was just solid rust. And now, I mean, right down here, we're down to just the shiny metal. Um, so it's not too bad. Again, you can see the pitting in the metal where the rust once was. Uh, but this is more or less ready to just get a coat of paint. Um, and in my situation, it was so far gone that this piece, I'm actually going to at least trim off somewhat. Uh, so I don't got these jagged edges hanging off. That's about it. Again, technically you never have to change out the water from what I've read. It, uh, it just starts to evaporate, so you just will need to add more water, but you won't need to add more baking soda or washing soda. Um, I also ran this piece. I haven't washed it up yet. Uh, but that's basically it. Now I'm just going to dry this thing out. Um, and paint it and get it back in the car. Um, upcoming, I'm going to be doing a video showing how to mount an Odyssey lightweight battery. So you guys can check that out. Um, and I also have coming up a uh, rotor and brake pad install on the car as well. So uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, throw me some comments. Give me some advice. Uh, I hope someone finds this useful. All right, thanks a lot.